Good morning. I'm David Mello, Supervisor of Children's Services here at the Fall River Public Library. And it's that time of the month again for the Book of the Month Club. And I've got with me some very fun books that I'm going to be sharing with you. And it's my hope that some of these books might become some of your favorites after you hear them. Now, my first story is about a little boy who says a gorilla stole his pizza. I don't know if you believe it. To me, it seems a pretty impossible thing for a, a gorilla to come to your house and steal your pizza. But we'll see what his story is. And this tale is called Ding Dong Gorilla. It is by Michelle Robinson, illustrated by Leone Lord. Pizza looks pretty good. Ooh, there is a gorilla in this book. You know, we ordered a pizza, a great big one with extra cheese. Well, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Uh-oh. You see, while you were upstairs getting ready for dinner, the doorbell rang. Ding dong! I thought it must be the pizza boy, so I answered it. It was definitely not the pizza boy. I think that's a gorilla. I didn't invite the gorilla in. He just barged in right past me. He went straight to my toy box and dumped everything out to get to the crayons. He did lots of coloring, but he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good at staying in between the lines. And that's not the bad news. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the bad news. When the gorilla got bored, he stomped off to watch TV. He went through all my movies, but at least he put them away afterward. Just not in the right places. That's not the bad news either. Uh-oh. Next, the gorilla wanted to play dress up. I couldn't stop him. He put on all my clothes and most of yours too. Then he left them in a dirty pile on my bedroom floor. My goodness, how rude. How silly does that gorilla look? Hmm? But that's not such bad news. At least he washed some of the clothes. I thought perhaps the gorilla was overexcited, so I sent him outside to get some fresh air. Sounds like a good idea. But he got some fresh flowers instead. Uh, the garden uh, doesn't look so pretty anymore. The gorilla wanted to play soccer next, but it was getting dark. So we came back inside. It wasn't me who broke the vase or the window or the chair. And still, that isn't the bad news. Uh-oh. Worse news? By now, the gorilla was getting really hungry. I was a bit scared, but he wasn't interested in me. He wanted to bake a chocolate cake. He hadn't just turned on the blender when the doorbell rang again. Oh my goodness, what a mess. This time, it really was the pizza boy. He looked surprised to see us. 
He ran away before I could pay him. I suppose that's quite good news, really. The gorilla ran away when he heard you coming downstairs. So you probably won't believe that he made all this mess. You are bound to blame me and send me to bed without any pizza. Uh, but the bad news is... There isn't any pizza left. And that's Ding Dong Gorilla. I don't know about you, but I don't think I believe that gorilla story, do you? I think he was just a very hungry boy that wanted the pizza all to himself. It's summertime, time to go outside and play. And I don't know about you, but when I was little, one of my favorite places to play was, you got it, in the mud. And we're going to see what fun these children have in the mud. Words are by Annie Bailey and pictures by Jen Carace. Drip, drop, splish, splash, squish, squash. Squish squash. Ooh, looks like it's raining out. Gloopy, gloppy, gorgeous mud. Oozy, smoozy, soupy mud. Stomp it, poke it, squeeze it, whack it. Pack it into bricks and stack it. Heave it high and watch it splat. Throw it at the sleeping cat. No, 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 not the cat. Never, ever at the cat. Serve the specials of the day in your mucky mud cafe. Pies and donuts, squishy stews. Decorate a cake or two. Hmm. They look rather tasty for mud, don't you think? Just make sure you never chew it. You'll regret it if you do it. She doesn't seem to like it. Blech. When you tire of your cooking and you're sure that no one's looking, whoosh, smoosh, smash, ack, Bash, thwomp, clash, yikes, crash. Little sis has perfect aim. Time to play a different game. Oh, look, she got him right on the head. What a good shot. Paint a portrait of your cat. Sculpt a hairdo or a hat. Dig a murky, marshy lake. Slither through it like a snake. Make an angel slip and slide. Jump and roll and swim and glide. Oh, they're having a ball, aren't they? Dinner's ready. Come and get it. Hurry, kiddos. Oops, mom is calling. Wait a minute. Mother jumps behind the screen. Don't come in until you're clean. Grab the hose and let it fly. Water diamonds in the sky. Blurple, squirble, blop and glop. Squilchy, squilchly, schlop and flop. Scrub-a-dub. All clean again. Time to go inside, but then. Drip drop, splish splash, squish squash, 
Squish, squash. Uh-oh, look at the water. It's making more. Mud! I don't think those two are ever going to get clean. But mud can be a lot of fun. Take it from me. Pop-up books can be a lot of fun. Fun way to explore books. And we've got a bunch of new pop-up books here at the Fall River Public Library. This is among them. Visit us sometime and check it out among the other wonderful pop-up books that you can explore. This one is called Pop-Up Peekaboo Pets. Bonnie the Bear and her cuddly pets are playing hide and seek. Is puppy Jojo behind the doghouse? Let's help Bonnie take a peek. Should we take a peek? You think she's behind the doghouse? No, you don't think she's there? Let's take a look. Here we go. Peekaboo! There's puppy Jojo with his bouncy ball. Woof! 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 Why, he was there after all, chasing his ball. Let's see who else we come across. Now Bonnie looks for her rabbit. She says, Bunny Buttercup, where are you? Are you hiding among the vegetables, playing peekaboo? Let's see, do you see any sign of, of Bunny among the vegetables? I see carrots. Bunnies do like carrots. Should we peek? Okay, get ready. Let's take a look. Yes! There's Bunny Buttercup. She's nibbling a lettuce leaf. Crunch, crunch, crunch. She's having her lunch. She's rather enjoying herself too, I'd say. Let's continue our search. Time to find Frankie the cat. Has she climbed into the tree? Bonnie the bear says, Frankie, is that your fluffy tail I see? Hmm, I do see a tail over there, do you? Do you think it's Frankie the cat? Okay, let's see, let me pull that tail. Hmm, let me see. Let's push aside the leaves. Peekaboo, there's Frankie. She is in the apple tree with butterflies. Meow. She's a good tree climber. Okay, let's see who else there is to find. Just one more pet to find, says Happy Bonnie Bear. Little Harry, the hamster. He must be here somewhere. You think Harry's in the flower pots? Is Harry hiding in those flower pots? Should we look? I don't see him in there. He doesn't look to be in that one or that one. Maybe he's behind the flower pots. What do you think? Should we look? Okay, ready? Peekaboo! Yes! There's little Harry. I think we've got everyone now. Now the pets are all together, hopping to have some fun. Now the pets are all together, hoping to have some fun. And guess who's hiding this time with a surprise for everyone? Who could be hiding? Hmm. Let me see the hamster, the bunny, the puppy, the kitten. Oh. Oh. Do you think? Let's check and see. Peekaboo! It's Bonnie the Bear. She's having a party and everyone's invited. Wow. They look like they're going to have a good time. That was a fun peekaboo party. And that is pop-up peekaboo pets.
And if you've enjoyed these stories that we've shared together, come and check them out for yourself at the Fall River Public Library. Or you can attend our Tuesday morning story times starting at 11 o'clock. We share some wonderful stories. We do a craft. And this summer, we'll be having stories under the tent outside on our side lawn. So if you enjoy books, if you enjoy listening to good stories and having a good time, please check us out here at the Fall River Public Library for our story time.